Hi, this is Michael Josephson, and I'm really so excited about talking to you about Character Counts 4.0, which represents the biggest and most major overhaul of the whole Character Counts approach that we've had over all the years we've done it. Of course, it's built on the same platform, but it is different enough and new enough and has enough tools that I really hope we can induce you to upgrade to Character Counts 4.0. Let me try to put this in context. You know, in 1992, Motorola invented the very first really practical handheld mobile Phone. And interestingly enough, in that same year, 1992, that's when Windows came out with 3.1, which is the first really user-friendly version of Windows. Well, in 1992, another big thing happened, and that's when Character Counts was formed. 1992, we had the concept of forming this coalition of organizations to advance the character ed development process in the United States, and it was Character Counts, and we started with 27 organizations and, and no people, 1992. Well, in the 20 years that has followed, mobile phones have obviously changed. Just the phone part of it has, they've gotten bigger, then they've gotten smaller, they do more things. Then, of course, the smartphone was introduced, and it's much more than a phone. It's a phone, plus a computer, plus a camera, plus anything that you could imagine. And it's hard to imagine somebody not at least wanting to take a look at and take advantage of the incredible new things that today's smartphones can do. And in the same way, Windows developed. So you had 3.1. But today, as you've moved all the way to Windows 7 and now Windows 8, it does new things, different things, better things, in the same way that Character Counts has evolved during that same period. Since 1992, we moved from the time where we were using little overhead transparencies and mostly lecture and hardly any activities, because it was the state of the art then, to a much more sophisticated advanced process, not only in the CDS itself, in terms of how we train you, but in the tools we give you to introduce to your colleagues on the faculty and to the students and even to parents. So Character Counts has also evolved in the same way with Windows. You can see this as our logo has evolved. But ultimately, it has now reached a point where we're reaching nearly 8 million kids. We have about 1,000 organizations that are part of the coalition. Foreign countries are beginning to adopt Character Counts. And we really have begun to meet our promise and our hope of changing the ethical quality of the world. And you are a critical part of that, and you can do so much more with 4.0. Look, just like today, we have the iPhone 5, and anybody who's an iPhone fanatic wants iPhone 5, or if you want to get Windows, you got to get Windows 8. Today, you've got to get Character Counts 4.0. It's different enough, it's important enough that that upgrade is critical to professional development, and for you knowing that you have the very best tools to improve the lives of your students and to improve the ethical quality and culture of your school. Now, in essence, the overall change is, first of all, that we've increased our scope. Character Counts 4.0 is involved with much more than character. Character still is our platform. It will always be our platform. But we have broadened our objectives to more explicitly and comprehensively include what is involved in creating a school climate and school culture for safety, for academic performance, and for social emotional learning. I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a minute. But the second big thing we've done is have much more effective implementation strategies. We have different ways that character counts can be implanted so we know that it's meaningful, measurable, and sustainable. And you need to hear and see these strategies and hopefully try some of them at your school. We have also a new behavior change model. We've taken the best we could from a lot of the other theories of, of dealing with change, including PBIS, which deals with behavior changes, and incorporated into our own model, which includes a data management system, but is also based on cutting-edge research on change. And finally, there's, of course, new tools and resources, lots of new tools and resources. Videos, a vast array of music and images and social media and activities that will enhance dramatically your ability to get your students engaged, to get your colleagues engaged, to get parents engaged, and to produce the impact that we all want from Character Counts. Now, the fact of the matter is, is in, in producing Character Counts 4.0, that we were trying to respond to the most critical needs of the school. And we also were doing it by basing it on research. And that includes research on the effectiveness of Character Counts. Upgrading to Character Counts 4.0 is every bit as important as it would be to upgrade from Windows 3.1 or whatever other version you might have had. 
if you want to deal with today's problems and increase the impact, you've just got to come to 4.0 and upgrade it. And that's why we've made it as easy as possible. We've tried to think, how can we make it easier? Busy, time is a problem, money is a problem. So we're going to give you two options, two ways in which you can upgrade the character counts 4.0. The first, the best, the one I really recommend, the one I hope you'll take is to really re-enroll in one of our CDSs, any of our CDSs, anywhere in the country, and you'll see there'll be links to show you where they are and what times they are. And to make that easy, to make it possible, even, I hope, very attractive, we're going to give you a $500 coupon toward the tuition so that we can induce you to go through this new training, which I promise you will be a personally satisfying and rewarding experience. The second way is, if somehow that is not possible or attractive or something about this other option is, we're going to offer five one-day intense workshops taught by me in our Los Angeles headquarters, which is just going to focus on the absolute highlights of 4.0, and you too will be certified as a 4.0 instructor. And of course, probably the best part of this, it's entirely free. And by the way, I wanted to say something about the CDS. Not only are we going to give you a $500 coupon, if you bring any colleague from your school to that training, they will get a $200 tuition coupon as well. So we're doing everything we can to encourage you bringing a team, training a team, to revitalize and strengthen your program. Remember, you don't have to be sick to get better. And I don't know how dynamic your Character Counts program is now, but I promise you, it can be better, and you will be excited about seeing what the results are when you do that. Now, here's a quick overview of what's really new. Now, of course, it depends on when you took the last training, but you do have to understand that we are evolving because schools are evolving, society is evolving, and we know what the current problems, when we talk to, to principals and superintendents, and sometimes even as an obstacle to character counts, I say, I can't do this now, I'm too worried about my academic performance and no child left behind. Uh, I'm worried about dropouts, I'm worried about school violence, I'm worried about drug abuse, I'm worried about bullying, I'm worried about low teacher morale and poor parent engagement, all of those things are part and parcel of how we've redesigned 4.0 to provide you and your school with very practical, very simple tools to help address each of those problems in a values-based way. So when I say we've increased our scope, I want to be clear that we're now operational in four major domains. One is academics, and we don't just give lip service to this. We have made a real effort to be sure that there are specific outcomes that we give to our teachers and our trainers that meet the common core standards or other state standards so that young people are going to perform at their intellectual potential and that they will be ready for college and the workplace, which is the essence, of course, of most state standards. Secondly, we've significantly upgraded and become more specific on how to produce a school environment that's safe, that provides a culture where students are both physically and emotionally safe, and that includes dealing with the problems of bullying. Third, of course, is our main wheelhouse, character and conduct, and we have simply enhanced the different teaching methods, the experiential tools, the videos to help you instill trustworthiness, respect, responsibility, fairness, caring, and good citizenship. And finally, we've made a much more concerted effort to simultaneously integrate the development of these really critical life skills, the thing they call emotional intelligence, sometimes it's social-emotional learning, but they're the basic life skills, including the ones specified in the 21st century uh, life skills proposals and also Common Core. The point I want to make is, this is a one-stop shop that what we've tried to do with Character Counts 4.0 is give you such a comprehensive way of approaching improvement of your school that it will help you improve the lives of your students and it will improve the character and quality of your school. Now for those of you who want even a little more detail about what some of the more specifics are about some of these changes, go to the next tape. But either way, thank you for all you've done for Character Counts already. I hope you'll be doing a lot more. You are such an important change agent for this world. It can be better, and it will be better. And Character Counts 4.0 is a good beginning. Thanks a lot.